Let's look a little more in depth on the second panel, which is our inserts. Uh, we saw in our overview that this inserts is where you would put on whichever track you're looking at different plugins. Uh, you really wouldn't, it, it'd be rare for you to put a reverb in here. You'll see in later tutorials, check out the tutorials on effect sends and group channels. You'd be more likely to put a, a reverb on an effect send or a group channel. The effects that you would mo be more likely to put in here are things like compressors and gates and EQs. And we'll see why when we look in the effects channels. But basically, if you're adding something to the sound, like if you're adding a reverb, in other words, you want to keep the original guitar, plus you want to add some reverb to it. We call that dry when we don't have a reverb on the guitar and wet when it's a uh, reverb. So if you want half dry and half wet, then you would most likely put that effect on an effects end. Or if you add a reverb that you wanted to put on several tracks rather than have to open a different reverb on every track and load up your computer, then you would also do that on an effects end. So if that's what you're looking for, check out the tutorial. So if that's what you're looking for, check out the tutorials on effects ends. Uh, let's quickly open another uh, effect in here for the purposes of demonstration. Let's open an EQ really quick here. So we can demonstrate how our inserts work. You notice we have two effects here now running real time, which means that as the computer is playing, it's playing back this guitar, which means that as the computer is playing back, which means that after the computer is playing back, which means that as the computer is playing back, it's playing back this guitar and it's creating an EQ, which means that you can tweak it out as it's running. Check this out. Kind of overdrove it a little, but it's manufacturing this reverb, like we said, on playback. That's why it lets you uh, adjust it while it's going. So it's manufacturing an EQ and it's also manufacturing a reverb. Now we can bypass these effects for purposes of listening to see, uh, let me just delete this. Remember that Cubase is non-destructive. So there's our original track that we had in the beginning. So there's our original track that we had in the beginning. Now we can bypass one effect each at a time so we can make sure that whatever we're putting on is improving the sound, not making it worse. So I can bypass it. Likewise, we can do 